Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. If you remember the last video, I played around with Jesmini AC100 and silk screens using Jesmini AC100 as the main medium to shove through the silk screens. And we looked at different depths. We looked at what it was like if you scrape it all off or if you leave quite a thick, juicy layer on there, how much can we get and how thick does it go? There were pros and cons, honestly, to, to laying it on quite thick. Um, it spilled a lot and yeah, it kind of splodged everywhere. But we're gonna go again because I had the thought of doing color on color. So natural on natural, blue on blue, green on green, etc, etc. And I just thought it would look absolutely stunning if the colours were the same. So we're making quite a few. We are jumping straight in with the natural jesmonite. The mould I'm using here is the chunky kind of giant coaster mould or trivet. You could really use it for anything. But I thought natural on natural would just be be so 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 beautiful i did have a little bit left over just enough for three individual pendants but i do need to make sure i use all of that so you saw the measurements on screen that i used just don't use as much if you want to fill up that mold now it's 30 minutes later and it's time to demold I am not waiting for this to cool down. I'm going straight in on top with the silk screen. I realize it doesn't really make much difference. Now I'm using a new silk screen. I am moving slightly away from spring and botanical by using this, but these are stunning. They're like the most beautiful mandalas and I knew it would just be perfect for this project. So new silk screen. <laughs> I am sorry. I know I get so many messages from you guys like, oh, guess I'm buying more silk screens. Um, my only worry was like in the last video, you saw the video before um, that, that they're not as sticky. Once you wash them, they're not as sticky as one might hope they would be. So yeah, I'm reluctant to say go grab some silk screens just in case they become non-sticky. So many of you did suggest I use a self, like an adhesive spray. That is definitely something to try as well. But here we are, we are rubbing this down onto the mold now, onto the form. I didn't want one big round juicy mandala in the middle. I wanted to split it up just to give it more visual interest. So I've put it, as you can see, like half, not half and half, but like, I don't know, two thirds, <laughs> something like that. Just coming off of one side and another one coming off of another side. Now I've mixed up just a tiny amount of natural jesmonite to go onto the natural jesmonite. And the first coat is the rub. So I'm really, really, pushing down onto this silk screen, pushing it into the silk to make sure that that Jesmini AC100 comes into contact with the main coaster, the main piece, before I lay down a thicker layer on top. Now, again, I'm going easy on this one because I've tried it now, I know what to expect and I know that when you lay it on quite thick, it gets quite sloppy. So I'm just gonna make sure that when I peel it back, I peel it back really carefully and slowly and I don't allow that to fly everywhere like it kind of did in the last video and this is the result. I was screaming inside. It is so beautiful. There was a bit excess at the edge so I just right wiped it around with my hand. This is stunning, just stunning. It is everything I expected it to be. Color matching with the color. It just this one in particular, the natural, you know, that kind of neutral tone screams wedding. This to me screams wedding, like individual place names, individual coasters for your guests. Like I know that would <laughs> probably cost thousands of pounds. Maybe don't do that. Don't do that. But yeah, absolutely beautiful. I did emboss the individual pendants. They didn't come out as well. We got quite a few splodges on those. So I would say, I don't know, the bigger the area is the easier thing to do. Um, we moved on to some coasters. I wanted to try color color. So we're going to go with different shades of purples and blues. But also my whisk broke, it snapped, like the top bars snapped. So I did end up buying myself another whisk. I get my whisks from HomeSense TK Maxx. They have this one whisk that I just love. It's small, dinky, but it's super, super robust. So 
if you're looking for a decent whisk, that was just me showing you the state of play when it comes to my Jesmonite AC100. I am down to my last few grams of powder, so hopefully any day now I'll get a new delivery. I did order some. But yes, anyway, back to the colour. Now, if you are new here, hello and welcome. My favourite colour is blue, all of the blues. And I knew that I wanted to go down that kind of avenue when it came to these coasters as well, like the blues and the purples. Um, so the first colour up, we are going to be using the Amethyst. Now, these colours are by Homeware Design Co. And your code is down below in the description box for those. The mould itself is the Round Coaster Mould by Moulds and Shapes. Again, your codes are below. I'm not an affiliate. I do not earn commission if you decide to go ahead and purchase these. But you guys get a discount. So again, the colours... I cannot, I cannot rave about them more than I can. They are simply stunning. Now, whilst I'm filling this up, I do end up changing the shade. So I will either add pigment or not add pigment to make it lighter or darker. One question I wanted to um, bring up is that I saw it in the last video video before about using other eco pores, whether we could use resin crete or the H2O or anything like those. Now, my first initial thoughts would be they're so watery. I just don't know if you would get the same result, especially with resin crete. Resin crete is a super watery product at the time of pouring, and I'm just not sure it would it would do the job of getting into the silk screen. Now the alternative would be to wait until it thickens up a little bit and maybe rub it on as a paste. Like wait till it really thickens up and rub it on as a paste. Whereas for me, Jesmonite AC100 is thick at the point of mixture. Like the second you mix it, it's a thick, thick, double, double cream consistency. So I knew that this would work better Equally, other eco pores that I have used are also on the liquidy side. They're very, very watery. So if you do try this with any other eco pores, do let me know what results you got. Did you wait until it thickened up to rub it into your silk screen? Just, yeah, if you do try it, let me know. I won't be doing silk screens for too much longer. I do really need to move on, but it's a bit addictive because you just want to try something new and you think of something else and you want to try something else and it just, it becomes, it, it's quite a handy thing. It does kind of lead video to video to video, which is really handy for me, um, but yeah, I'm not sure how much longer I'm going to be experimenting with the silk screens. But that I just wanted to answer that question as well because that has come up a lot. The other question I've got a lot is using completely different mediums. So maybe using acrylic pens, acrylic paint pens with the silk screens and using other things entirely. And one of, I think it was one of my patrons or one of you guys, um, I can't really remember, but Jesmonite pigments can be used alongside Jesmonite sealer to create a paint for Jesmonite. We knew this from day one. I did that on my channel three years ago. I added Jesmonite pigments into Jesmonite sealer to create a paint style. Um, and that was a suggestion for layering. If you remember in the last video, that was another question. I said I, I wasn't sure we'd be able to layer very well because using Jesmonite AC100 through the silk screen leaves leaves quite a raised embossed surface so adding another silk screen to a seriously bumpy surface might not do a good job that is something i would like to try but anyway answering your questions while you watch me make the coasters the coasters are done yay two different shades of blue dark and light and two different shades of purple more of a lilac and a dark purple now my initial thoughts on these were they came out beautifully smooth and all of the edges are beautiful but sadly i got some accidental marbling in there and that's human error that is my own fault for not spending enough time mixing the colors together making sure that we get one single block opaque color and i already felt that they were going to take away from the finished product so if you do try this please make sure you mix your colors in fully new silk screens i know i know but I've had these silk screens a while now. These are, well, they're kind of a mixture. They're like sun, moon, stars, you know, 
kind of moon phases stroke mandalas. Um, I am going to be using the mandalas for these because I just think they're gorgeous. Again, I'm offsetting them. So I'm not necessarily putting them all in the center. I will put a couple in the center, but I do like that look of having the design offset. Oh, this is me telling you to keep your backing cards because once you've washed these out and they're dry, put them back on the cards, keep them flat, keep them safe and use them again. Now, as you would have watched the last video, I really only truly deep down believe that you're going to get three uses out of these silk screens before they completely lose their stick altogether. And again, that is where the adhesive spray comes in. That is a possibility. Not something I've tried. I don't own any. It's definitely something to potentially purchase in the future and test it out. But anyway, Claire, seriously, rambling today. I'm trying to, I'm trying to answer all of your questions at the same time as create some new pieces. So I hope I'm making sense and everything I've said is making sense. Now, I did take the blue one off. I decided instead of using one of those small ones, I'm going to go back to this one that has been washed and dried from the day before. Um, and we're going to use that large mandala on, on this one as well. So this was the hardest part. I wanted to try and colour match. My plan here was to get as close as possible to the colour, which is really hard. If anyone's used Jesmonite, it's really hard to colour match after the fact, like if you're making a fresh new batch. I was just playing it by eye and kind of comparing the shade. Um, I wanted a real pale lilac for this one, of course, because that was pale lilac. And I'm doing exactly the same techniques. I don't want to bore you guys. I'm not going to show you every second of every minute of me doing this. But the first, the first coat really is getting shoved in there. Like I am shoving it in with my gloved hand right down into the silk screen, making sure that the Jesmini AC100 comes into contact with the surface of the coaster. And then I'm just gently rubbing over the surface to leave more of a thicker layer before I then peel back the silk screen to reveal what is underneath. So that's pretty much the technique I'm using for all of them. I just don't want to kind of have you sit through and watch all of them because I know that that cannot be interesting for you guys. But this is the result. It's so pretty. So pretty. Totally ruined by the accidental marbling in there. But the technique itself what a dream. The colour was almost bang on at this point. I, I would say it's a shade lighter than I needed it to be, but then it was time to try and colour match the dark purple. And I would say that I did, I cannot tell you how well this colour matched. It doesn't necessarily look like it right here, or it kind of does, but in the end result, it was the closest colour match that I got from all four coasters. I would love, if you're still here, I would love to hear your thoughts on whether you think colour matching it is nicer than if you went with the same colour but a lighter shade or a darker shade. Because at this point, I was so happy with this colour match. As soon as I peeled back the silk screen, I just couldn't really see it. <laughs> I couldn't really see it. I was like, oh, okay. I thought it would be a lot more wow. Equally, can you see that? The outline of the silk screen was on the coaster. And I don't know why. I don't know if it's because these were still warm at the point of laying it down. And some of that adhesive layer, some of that glue, because they were hot, they weren't hot, but they weren't freezing. I don't know. I don't know what happened there, but the corner of the silk screen was printed on to the coaster. My thoughts are it's because they weren't 100% dry and some of the moisture, maybe the glue reacted. It's not ideal. So that is what would make me hesitant about using any adhesive spray. But again, we shall see. We shall see. Now the blue one, I have to say, I didn't get anywhere close to the colour. That was such a dark blue that went onto the pale. Um, and I thought I did a really good job, but here we are. The final one to be done is the dark, dark. So this is the most stunning colour. This is like a dark teal, turquoise kind of colour. Right up my street, one of my favourite colours. 
And again, I'm using the large mandala. I have offset it so it's not central to the coaster. I have offset it using exactly the same technique again, rubbing it in first and then leaving a fat juicy layer. And then it is time to peel back. And oh my goodness me, by far my favorite result. Now it is slightly off screen because there's drips down the side. I'm just wiping them off before showing you that. But my favorite result by far so let's look at a close-up these are all dry now this was the pale purple um no it wasn't pale purple is showing up on the left this is the dark purple and I would say that's the best color match the pale purple the colors look the same in some lights and in other lights it looks like it's slightly lighter than the coaster but yeah that marbling oh really really sad that I got the marbling this one here, not my cup of tea at all. Now, I know I say I like all of the blues. I'm not a fan of sky blue. That's the one blue I'm not a fan of. And I think that's just too sky blue for me. But the purples are sublime. This purple here, my favorite, but this one. This one is hands down my favorite the style of the stencil we have got some light shading in there so it does look like it's kind of marbled with a lighter shade of blue but wow 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 that one for me is flocked wallpaper that is puff puffy vinyl it's all of the things and it has the most striking wow impact and i think that's because the jesmine ac100 that went onto the silk screen is slightly darker so now I'm really surprised at myself because I thought, you know, if I tried to color match as best I could, they would be the best results. But actually, for me, having a slightly darker shade just is a lot more wow, impactful, stunning, beautiful. I did leave them to dry, completely cure overnight before I sealed them. So this is the next day and I am going to run through the sealing process again. I still get a lot of questions on sealing, even though I've done multiple videos on sealing Jesmonite. If I'm using the Jesmonite AC100 acrylic sealer, the first coat goes on 20% water it has to be diluted that's the that's the the, the instructions 20% diluted water so if you're using 100 grams in a bottle 20% of that is water 80 80 of that is the jesmonite sealer now this does leave streaks and this is one of the biggest questions i get it's so streaky um whether you put it on with a brush or a sponge it can leave streaks so what i do is i get a dry sponge and i just do a quick once over buff and it just takes it all away. It's actually cool. But here, look, you can see the edge. You can see the edge of that silk screen gutted, absolutely gutted that that happened. Again, I think that's the adhesive, the material, the, the stickiness that has come off on the coaster. Had I known at the time, I actually, guys, I didn't even notice this until I was sealing. So it's only on video that I could see it. Then do you know what I mean? I didn't know at the time. Maybe I could have tried rubbing it off. Maybe, I don't know. What would you have done? Let me know in the comment section down below. I do believe it's because the coasters weren't fully 100% dried, but who knows? Who knows? This is all very new to me. Um, but if you know, let me know. Um, so this is my favorite coaster, like hands down my favorite coaster. I used a lot of pigment in here. You can see it's coming off on the sponge, but that won't last, that won't continue to come off. Um, again, giving it that top coat and then rubbing all of that excess. The, the Jesmonite AC100 acrylic sealer does foam up a bit, especially if you're using the same brush or the same sponge over and over, it gets really foamy. So again, just grabbing a dry sponge, buffing that off, rubbing that off, you've got a beautiful result. Now this is just the first coat. So what you're meant to do now is leave them sitting there for just a minute and then finish them with a second coat of neat Jesmonite AC100 acrylic sealer. Same method, rub it on, rub it off. I love, 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 love this one. This one here, the natural on natural and the dark, dark teal on, on teal, uh, just beautiful to me um out of the two purples i would say that the darker purple is my favorite and that light blue is not my bag at all not my cup of tea even if it didn't have that marbling that accidental marbling i, I don't think i would have liked it because sky blue is not my 
it's not my colour um, at all. It, every other colour but sky. <laughs> Don't ask me why. I like the real thing. I like a nice blue sky. But yeah, I hope you have found this helpful and it has inspired you in some way. This video then did go on to inspire the next video, which will be on Wednesday. And that is using silk screens, Jesmonite and epoxy resin. But we're not putting the silk screens on to the epoxy resin because that doesn't work. So watch this space because, oh my gosh, the results are insane. And that video is coming to you on Wednesday, fully inspired by this video and because my brain basically won't shut down. I will see you all on Wednesday. Thank you so, so much if you are still here. I appreciate you all. Let me know if you have a go at this with any other eco as well. I would appreciate any advice you've got. See you then. Bye.